Yo guys, first of all, I want to say thank you. These last few days have been crazy. I've always wanted to get known in the Call of Duty scene and make a name for myself. And it's, start it's starting to happen. I, I couldn't be any happier. So, much love to you guys. Thank you so much. And let's get on to it. So, at the end of the last video, I left a message like the last 10 seconds. And I asked if you wanted to see this video. Uh, it's it's a, like a kind of like a tip. It's not a full guide or anything like that. But it's something that will increase your accuracy and it'll make you a better sniper. Like I said though, it's not a full guide, so if you don't know the fundamentals of sniping, if you have questions on attachments, uh, which sniper to use, what's better, what's worse, stuff like that, I'm not telling you that in this video. It's simply just, a, it's, it's a little aiming tip. So before we get into detail with that, I do suggest that if you do have questions about the fundamentals, the, the ground up when it comes to sniping, you should look into that first and then come back to this video and you will be able to you'll be able to relate to it a lot more. Wow, that was a mouthful. I'm gonna leaving that in there too. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Anyways, okay, let's go. When it comes to sniping on Call of Duty, there's different aiming techniques. You have the quick snipe or quick scope, whatever you want to call it. You have the drag, you can track, you can flick. There's so many different techniques. But when, you, when you're playing on console, obviously most people aren't going to be able to aim as well as if you were on PC, right? Like you can't be as consistent. Obviously there are some incredibly talented people out there that they'll have no problem with it. They've been playing FPS shooters for years so that they know how to move their thumbs, right? But there's so many people out there that can't. So when you're talking about sniping, you want to do it the least amount of aiming as possible. Now when I'm sniping, now mind you this might sound weird, but bear with me, it'll make sense. I don't actually look at my crosshair. I never do. And when I'm aiming with my right thumbstick, I'm not like picturing in my head that I'm trying to move my crosshair around. I'm not picturing that I'm aiming with my crosshair. What I'm doing is, is I'm trying to center the enemy to my screen. I know, it sounds kind of weird. I'm going to continue explaining here for a minute and then I'll give you a visual representation of what I'm talking about so hopefully it'll make more sense. But as you can see right now in the gameplay, there is no crosshair that shows me where center of my screen is, right? So I memorize like on my monitor, like I can, I know where center is on my monitor. So when I'm playing, I try to get the, the enemy center of my screen before I even scope in. If I do that, then I don't have to make any adjustments with my stick, or I can make very little adjustments with my stick. That's much more consistent than trying to aim. Everybody know. well actually I don't even know if you know or not, but there is no aim assist with snipers on, on Black Ops 4. There is no aim assist, no target assist, no aim assist. So when you're aiming, it's just inevitably going to be less accurate. It's just, that's just how it is. Like I said, it doesn't matter how good you are, you have no aim assist and you're playing with a joystick. You're going to be less accurate. So, what you want to do is, is, before you even scope in, you want to try to get that enemy center of your screen so you can make the least amount of adjustments. Now, like I said, I'm going to give some examples. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little crosshair on my screen, okay? Some black lines on the center of my screen. And I'm going to go against some bots, and I'm going to play really, really slow, just so you can get an idea of what I'm doing. And then I'll do the exact same thing, but in a real game, so you can get a visual representation of what I'm doing. So as you can see here, I'm in a custom game, right? And I'm gonna play really slow. So the black lines represent center of my screen. Before I even scope in, I know, I try to get my enemy centered, right? Now, of course, I'm doing this really slow so you guys can get a grasp on it, right? And you can see it. The farther the enemy is, the harder it's gonna be. So you're gonna take your time with it. And it's gonna take time to get good at it, obviously. You need a lot of hand-eye coordination to know where center is all the time. And obviously in real games, enemies are gonna be moving a lot more fast, right? They're gonna be a lot more sporadic, jumping around and sliding and stuff. So you gotta get used to it. And it does take a lot of time. But if you go into bots, right? Like if you make a custom game and you play against bots, and you do this for a little bit, you're gonna eventually get better. And uh, you're gonna be able to start doing it in a real game. And as soon as you can start doing it in a real game, even if you're not super good at it, I do recommend that you go into a real game as soon as you can. Playing against bots isn't the best way to improve, but it's a great way to start. Now I feel like I have to add this in. On my screen, I do not have these black crosshairs or anything like that. I have nothing that tells me where center is. This is all just me doing this in my head. It's all hand-eye coordination to know where center is on your screen, okay? That's what you need to practice on. Once you get that centering down, your snipes are gonna be so much more accurate and consistent. It's, it's incredible. Once you learn this, big difference. 
So, like I said, though, you're going to start off really slow, right? Like, if you're new to this or you're trying to improve, it, you're going to take your time and be slow. Nobody's going to be insanely fast when they first start it. It does take time. But as you start getting better, try to speed it up, you know? Scope in for less amount of time. Like, the second that your scope animation is completed, shoot, right? And try to do it as fast as you possibly can. And like I said before, I'm going to say it one more time. Bots are not the best way to improve, but it's a great way to start. So once you get the fundamentals of it down, then I do suggest going into a real game and finishing there. Keep practicing in a real game, you're going to eventually get better. Alright, so with that said, that is the tip. Centering, hand-eye coordination, and getting consistent in knowing where and when your enemy should be on your screen. You know what I mean? There's so much more involved, there's so many more techniques. When we're talking about making adjustments with flicking and tracking and... You know, there's, there's a million different ways, right? Like, you're going to incorporate everything. But to me, this is the basis of what quick sniping or quick scoping, this is the, the basis of what it is. So you need to understand this and you need to get this down before you begin to really become a, a good sniper on this game, right? So now for the rest of the video, I'm going to add uh, another gameplay on top of this. And I'm going to add the crossers that you saw me playing against bots with. I'm going to add those crosshairs just over top of the video so you'll be able to see what it looks like in a normal game. Now there's no commentary or anything like that and if you've already kind of understand the tip and you want to go try it for yourself, by all means, you go handle it. But if you want to see some more, I've got some more for you. So I'm going to let the video play out but once again guys, I, I want to say thank you. All the support these last few days have been insane and I'm excited for the future. I'm going to keep grinding and I'm going to try to make the best possible content that I can for you guys. So once again, thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helps and I'll see you guys on the next video.
down. Good job. 